Time to talk a little bit about the strong back. Strong back, you know, for if you're a carpenter, uh, this is the kind of thing you would call a jig, building jig. Uh, in the boat building world, we call it a strong back. Strong back can be anything from a beam with notches in it to uh, a box, which I'm going to show you right now, which is what I use for most of my boats. And basically, anything under a thousand pounds, I'll generally use a box because I just find it easier to do that. Now, we kind of have a trademark strong back that we use here um, that we're starting to see all over the place, and that's great. It's been real helpful to us. You have to understand that we build lots of boats here, and they're all different sizes, you know, anywhere from 12 foot to 20 foot, you know, depending on what we're building at the time. So this particular boat is about 17 feet, uh, just, just a hair under 17 feet. The general rule of thumb for a boat in a strong back is you want the strong back to be just a little bit shorter than the boat itself. Reason for that is as you're building and you have wooden planks going over the end, you don't want the strong back in the way. So we're going to build a strong back that's going to be uh, about 16 feet 4 inches and realizing that the stem will overhang about 4 inches at that point. Uh, and so as we're planking around, it'll go, you know, go down nicely and nothing will be in the way. The box itself is a pretty simple thing. Uh, you could do this from dimensional lumber. You can do it from plywood. Don't get too hung up on the sides, sides of what you're building because all you're really doing is trying to look to, a, you're trying to make a, a, a sturdy, strong, flat, square box. Something that's not gonna twist and turn on you, right? So what I found the best way to do that is use decent three quarter inch plywood. And this one is ripped down, it's uh, eight inches. Um, from here to here is 10 inches, inside here is 10 minus an inch and a half, which is uh, what, eight and a half inches. So I've got these spaces that I space about every 16 to 24 inches down, uh, and then the two sides and capped on the end. I do this in two pieces uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, like I said, we build lots of different size boats here. So uh, I, what I've done is we have a system where we use the two pieces and in the middle we put kind of a little accordion box. So this particular one can be stretched or shortened up to about four feet um, in either direction. And by doing that, all we have to do really is change the decking that goes on top. Okay, now the decking, uh, we use 12 inch uh, going across and again it's three quarter inch plywood. Uh, we use 12 inch because uh, we're using 12 inch on the bottom of the forms. Everything matches up nicely. Now what we've done here is right down the middle, you can see a cut line. You're going to need a center line, a very straight center line. Here we go talking about center lines again. You're going to need a center line going all the way down your strong back. The most accurate, easiest way I know of, of doing that is taking a board, flipping it over on the table saw, and, and cutting a, uh, a thin curve line right down the middle of it. Uh, and it works out really, really well. Doesn't fade, doesn't go away. If you're a carpenter, you're probably used to using chalk lines. Chalk line's fine too. Um, you just don't want it to be so heavy and fuzzy so that you could be off an eighth of an inch one way or the other. You really want to try to keep your forms dead smack straight down the middle of the boat. Okay? So the last thing I want to talk about on the strong back is the dolly system that we use. I think I told you I was going to tell you about that. Uh, this is, we use it here uh, because we may have a load of lumber coming in and we need to rip down a few thousand strips or just need to get stuff moved around. At your home, I think you're going to appreciate it because it might be in the way, uh, you might have a smaller shop and you have to make room to do certain tasks you know, while you're doing the boat. So really simple, uh, it's just a bunch of two by fours. Uh, we make and we cap that with a box. So we got two by fours going around, we got a two foot by four foot piece of three quarter inch plywood capping it off, and we put some wheels on the bottom. And again, what that allows us to do is once we set up the strong back and when we're working on the boat, we can move the boat in and around. You're going to see even during this DVD, we'll probably be wheeling a couple of different uh, white halls in to show you, you know, different ways to do things or different tasks on different boats. The way we do that is we just spin them around. We don't have camera lights and um, uh, microphones all over the place, so we just move the boats to where we are, okay? All right, so I'm going to take a few minutes. I'm going to start to put my strong back together, and then uh, we'll be ready to start putting some forms on it. It'll almost start looking like a boat. <laughs> 